Hello, welcome back. Welcome back to another video of my channel. I am Kishal. I hope you all are doing well. Welcome back to another video about gate preparation for gate 2026. And in this video, I'll talk about that what should be your preparation strategy for the next five months and a bit more that is remaining before the gate 2026 exam. So I hope you all know the gate exam for gate 2026 will be happening in the month of February. Typically in the first weeks of February, uh, the gate exams uh, is being conducted every year. So that will be same for next year also. So that, that means that approximately five months and a bit more days is remaining before the final gate examination. And these days, what is remaining is very crucial for our gate aspirants life. So however you will be utilizing these days, however well you will be preparing for the gate examination, that will actually, you know, pay in the final day. And your days after gate examination will be dependent on how well you have utilized these days that is remaining for gate examination. So in this video, I will talk about that what should be your strategy for the next five months uh, before the gate examination. And I will categorically discuss about every month that what you should do from, from, from today till uh, the gate examination, every month what you should do and what should be your optimal gate preparation strategy so that you can do well in the gate 2026. So that will be the content of today's video. So if you want to know detail about it, please stay tuned this video till end. And before starting the video, as you always say, if you are new to this channel, please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get all the notifications regularly. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with other people. Without further ado, let's start into today's video. Now, the first thing that you need to do is you have to complete your gate syllabus. And for that, you can dedicate two and a half months. That means September, October till November mid, you can dedicate for completing the gate syllabus that is there in your uh, in the syllabus of your gate paper. Uh, so if you're someone who haven't started the gate preparation yet and maybe you haven't completed that much of the gate syllabus, then the first task that you need to do is you have to complete all those 10 to 12 subjects that is there in gate syllabus from the standard resources that is available for you. So what do you mean by standard resources? Standard resources means, for example, for a particular subject, if there is any standard textbook that you know that is available, that is there in your hand, you can refer to that standard textbook. Uh, you can refer to video lecture of different uh, different courses that is offered in Indian institutions or in foreign universities. So those class lectures, if it is available online, like in YouTube or uh, if it is there in their course website, you can refer to that also. Or else what you can do is, suppose you have uh, you have your class notes during your BTEC days for that particular subject that is available for you. And if you feel that that is sufficient, you have studied them during your BTEC days also. So that also you can refer to. And finally, suppose you have taken a coaching for your GATE uh, 2026, then that respective coaching notes also you can follow. So basic idea is that you have to study those subjects and you have to understand them. And you, your 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 basic understanding of all the topic of those subjects should be clear. Uh, because you know in, a, in, the, in the GATE examination, typically IITs or ISC, whatever question they set, they don't set a very complex question. They typically ask a very simple question that actually check your basic understanding of different topics that is there in gate syllabus. So it's very important that whichever resources you are following, so that's up to you, but your understanding of the subjects or different topics of that subjects has to be very, very clear. So this is uh, step one, uh, that your basic understanding of the subjects has to be very well. So that's why you have to complete the gate syllabus, whole gate syllabus end to end. And, and for that, maximum you can you can take till November mid. Now, this I am saying for those students who haven't started their preparation. If you're someone who have already started your preparation and maybe you have already covered 80% or you know 70% of the gate syllabus, then maybe you can complete them within next one month and then you can move to the next step. The next step in your gate preparation strategy should be solving previous year question paper. So previous year question paper is the set of question paper that is kind of the so-called standard question paper set by any IITs or IIC Bangalore. So whichever other question paper you'll be having from your coaching institution, for example, those are not the standard question paper. Those are set by uh, different coaching institutions. So they can't match the bar of the gate question that will be set by IITs. On the other hand, previous year question paper are kind of the standard question paper that, is, that has been uh, prepared by IITs and ISC for uh, last few years. So it's very important that you solve the previous year question paper alongside studies the syllabus of your uh, gate preparation for gate 2026. So it's very important that whenever you are you are, you are reading a particular topic from a particular subject, 
after you know reading the subject or reading the topic you go back and solve the previous question paper for that particular topic or particular subject i would recommend you know you 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 start solving topic wise because uh, there are many books that is available where topic wise uh, get get question paper previous question paper is given so you take any subjects what you are studying uh, take a particular topic study that that topic and then go back and and see how many previous question paper you are able to solve if you are able to solve approximately you know 70% or 80% of the gate uh, previous question paper that means your understanding for that particular topic is really really well on the other hand if you are not able to solve even 50% of the previous question paper that's a red flag that means your understanding is not good that means maybe you have to study again uh, from the resource that you are following maybe the book that you are following or the material that you are following or it might happen that that material is not sufficient which your books you are following or which your coaching material are following that is not sufficient to understand the particular topic so maybe you have to refer to some other other resources like other video lecture or other material that is available online so this is how you have to analyze your preparation whenever you are studying uh, different subjects and different topics in a particular subjects keep on solving the previous question paper that will give you a feedback that how well your preparation has happened for that particular topic and depending on how well it has happened uh, uh, you can you can you can you can proceed to the next topic or maybe you have to restudy it so that's why it's very important that you solve previous year question paper along with uh, your preparation and this again you have you can you can dedicate september october november mid till the time you will be completing your syllabus parallelly you have to solve the previous year question paper one more thing you can do during this time is that you can you can uh, appear for different topic wise mock test or different subject wise mock test that is there uh, and that is given by any any coaching institution that you have enrolled for if you have enrolled for the mock test of any coaching institution where there is topic wise test or subject wise test available then after finishing the topic or subjects you can refer to those uh, tests also so this will give you a you know additional way to practice more and maybe you know if you do well there also your confidence will be high so these are things you can do along with preparing for the gate syllabus that you can solve the previous question paper that is very very important and also uh, optionally uh, if you wish you can appear for topic wise test or subject wise test that is there uh, given by any coaching institution that you have enrolled for once you have completed your whole gate syllabus and you have uh, practiced the previous year question papers the next important step is to appear for different mock test now why mock test is important so how well you have prepared the whole gate syllabus how well you have solved the previous question paper that actually plays 70% of your gate success rest 30% is how well you have managed the final day gate exam that includes how well you have managed your time how well you have managed your hall pressure that that will happen in the exam day on the final uh, on 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 the final hours so these things how well you have managed that will play the next 30% of your gate success and you know sometimes i have seen that people are failing to uh, manage their hall pressure they're failing to manage their time on the final day they miss up everything and their whole preparation is actually in vain i have seen many people preparing really well for get uh, get preparation but on the final day they didn't manage the uh, time well they met, they didn't manage the hall pressure well and they didn't get a very good get score uh, so this happens you know there are many students that they suffer for these things so that's why it's very important that you manage these all things that will happen on the final day and you prepare for that and for that mock test is very important because in mock test when you will give a similar test in a in a similar environment that will be creating so then uh, you know you will be learning that how to manage the time how to handle the uh, exam pressure and all so i am not saying that you know uh, whichever question paper will be set by different coaching institution the mock test that is kind of the standard of question paper that is set by iits obviously not uh, these question even will not repeat in the final day gate exam but what will repeat is the environment so for example you are appearing for a mock test where the questions are very tough then you know you have to learn that how can you maximize your score because in a, in a tough paper most of the students will not be scoring much so there you have to you have to you know leave the very difficult question and you have to focus on solving the easy question first and then we then maybe you know at, attempting the bit difficult question and so on so this training you have to you have to have that when there is a difficult 
question paper how to maximize code uh, out of it on the other hand for example there is a very easy question paper that has come up where everybody is likely to have a very high score there you have to minimize your mistakes especially the silly mistakes so these sort of training you will be having when you will appear for different mock tests this environment or this situation will be repeating in the final gate exam. So in the final gate exam question will be either very tough or very easy. Then how to react on that, that you will be learning uh, during mock test. Now, typically people ask me that how much mock test is sufficient. I personally feel 15 to 20 mock test is sufficient. So that's why I'll say till November, mid to December. Uh, these one and a half months you can dedicate for uh, mock test. So uh, you can give a mock test within a gap of one or two days, then 15 to 20 mock tests you can give easily in, in this time duration. Now, when you should appear for the mock test, which time you should choose in your whole day to appear for the mock test? I will suggest you that choose the time slot of gate exam for the mock test. That means either 9 to 12 or 2 to 5. So these are two slots and typically you will be having your gate exam on the final day. So choose these two for appearing for the mock test and consider it as a as, as, as a complete exam you know don't you know, just go away in the mid of uh, the exam so don't do these things take it seriously give the gate uh, give, give the exam like your final day gate exam and try to uh, you know score as much as possible now why i'm saying two to uh, nine to twelve and two to five because you know in the final gate exam will be in one of these two slots and by uh, january you'll be actually able to know which slot you are getting but when you'll be you know pre preparing for the mock test typically in november or december you will not be knowing that which time slot you'll be getting so that's why i'll suggest you that you give few few exams in the morning slot that is nine to twelve and few exams in the evening slot that is uh, two to five now, what you will do after giving a mock test? So, just giving mock test is not sufficient. You have to analyze the mock test also. So, that's the next thing that you have to do. It's not just sufficient that you just give the mock test and you won't analyze it. So, that's a serious crime. I mean, if you do these things, that's a serious, serious mistakes you'll be doing. So, it's very important that after giving the mock test, you completely analyze them. Now, analysis means that you have to you have to see which of the subjects you are very strong at. So there will be few subjects that you are you are doing well in the mock test. So what you have to do is that you have to keep your momentum up. You have to uh, keep doing well in those subjects because those are your strong areas. On the other hand, there will be some subjects where you are not doing well. Maybe you are doing a lot of mistakes. You are not able to solve questions. You are doing silly mistakes. So then what you have to do is those subjects, again, you have to go back. Maybe you have to revise the subjects. And even after that also, if you're not able to score, then maybe you have to go back and study from some different resources. So this is how you have to analyze the subjects. And at the same time, whatever the two, three days gap that will be there between the two exams, you have to, you know, study those subjects that you are not strong at. And you have to see that whether in the next exam, you are able to do well on those subjects or not. So this is how it will be happening. It is an iterative process process that you will you will give an exam uh, you analyze them you get a feedback from them you try to do well I, you, you work on those uh, feedbacks and then in the next exam you try to do well so this is how if you do it for 15 to 20 exams you will be improving you will actually notice that you are improving and one more thing is that uh, you know you have to keep track of the silly mistakes so silly mistakes is really really important that you keep track of it and you try to rectify it because if question paper is moderate or easy silly mistakes cost a lot that's why you know you keep track of all the silly mistakes that you're doing in every exam and 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 make sure that you are not repeating in the next next exam i can suggest you you can have a diary mentioning all the silly mistakes and before the exam just look at the silly mistake that you do and make sure that you are not repeating in the final exam so this is how the whole thing will happen you have to appear for the mock test you have to analyze them get the feedback work on it and try to improve in the next exam so this will be doing till December and finally in January 2026 just a month before the gate examination I would suggest you that don't appear for any mock test then just focus on revision that means revise the whole syllabus again try to study from all the notes or all the resources that you have followed so far try to revise it try to solve previous question paper again and whichever tricky question you have encountered during this last four months, uh, during during solving previous question paper, maybe uh, solving the mock test, subject to a mock test, topical mock test. So if you have encountered any tricky question that you feel that you need special attention uh, to those questions, then try to solve this.
So this is how it should be for your final uh, month that you, you revise a lot, uh, solve the previous question paper and solve the tricky question. Why I don't en uh, you know encourage you to appear for any mock test in this month is because I feel that if you are starting your mock test from November mid and if you have given mock test till, uh, till December end and maybe you have given 15 to 20 mock tests that is sufficient because if you give more mock tests what happens is your mind is kind of getting biased towards this typical question papers. Uh, the question paper patterns that is set by different coaching institutions. So, I, I mean, you will understand this once you start giving mock tests that every coaching institution has a pattern of question that they set up. Now, if you if you solve a lot of question from that particular coaching institution, then your mind will be biased towards those questions. Uh, and, and that's very, that's very difficult to come out of. So, that's why I personally feel that after December, you shouldn't give any mock test because in the final question paper will be completely different. Uh, and I, I, I feel that if you have given 15 to 20 mock tests, that is sufficient, enough amount of uh, preparation that you have done. So this should be a strategy for the last month that you revise well, uh, all the syllabus, uh, all the difficult topics that you that you encountered, you practice them well, and you solve previous question paper for one last time. So yeah, that's the strategy for GATE 2026 for the next five months. And I personally feel that if you utilize your time properly, uh, if, you, if you give enough at time uh, for every subject if you study them well if you solve the, all the previous question paper if you give enough amount of mock test and finally if you revise the subject well uh, you will be successful in grade 26 you just have to be very focused because as i already mentioned in the intro part of the video that these five months is very very crucial for you so for whatever you'll be doing for the next uh, five months that will define your future so that's why i personally feel that you shouldn't waste much time of it you have to utilize the time very very well and your focus should be on the gate preparation so that's it about the video if you like this video don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with other people and let me know if you have any query or comment related to gate 2026 examination i'll be preparing a lot of videos this time for gate 2026 so please stay tuned and if you are new to this channel please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get all the notifications regularly that's it about this video i'll be meeting you next video until then bye